Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna give you my top 3 Photoshop plugins that are absolutely worth paying for. I've used a lot of Photoshop plugins in the last couple of years. A lot of them are not free so you have to pay for them and not every plugin is worth paying for. And I'm gonna give you my top 3 Photoshop plugins that are worth paying for and I'm still using them almost every day. So let's get into this video. Alright, the first Photoshop plugin that is worth paying for and this is absolutely my best investment in a plugin or it's even a standalone software it's called Topaz Photo AI. With Topaz Photo AI you can upscale images, you can remove noise, you can increase the quality, you can make images sharper, you can actually do anything to your photo to make it better and there's one price that you have to pay for it but I'm still using this probably every day to make my photos look better or my digital artwork or even AI artwork to increase the quality and this plugin is absolutely my favorite from all these plugins so check it out it's really worth paying for especially if you're a photographer or even a digital artist trying to make better creations or photos from what you create right so check that out it's really good plugin that has some really good benefits to your photos and the next plugin that I use is pixel squid with pixel squid you have like a huge library of 3D objects that you can use in Photoshop. So if you create digital art and you want to add some elements to it, well, you have to find those images and then cut them out, move the background, all that stuff. With Pixel Squid, you can just search for an image. It's going to pop up in the plugin and then you can even rotate it, add shadows automatically to them. So it's actually really easy to create artwork with Pixel Squid. It saves a lot of time because you don't have to look for these images online and you don't have to move backgrounds and the quality is really good even from these images, right? So check that out. It's a really good plugin. You have to pay once a month for it. You can try it out for one month and then later on remove it if you don't want to. So what I usually do is when I have a project, I don't use it every month, but when I have a project, I take a subscription to, to Pixel Squid and then I create with this subscription these artworks that I need to create and then I just stop this subscription again and then I enable it again when I need it again, right? So I don't need it every month, but when I need it, I absolutely use it. It's really good to create digital art. Now, the last one is Nick Collection. Nick Collection are a bunch of tools that you can use in Photoshop. These are really popular among photographers. You can really adjust your images with Nick Collection to create your own style. They have endless filters, effects and premium presets to really create artistic kind of images. So you can download these for Photoshop and you can see here I can apply all these presets they have in the Nick Collection. They have different tools for Photoshop so definitely check those out if you are a photographer and you might like these. So those are my three Photoshop plugins or add-ons, whatever you want to call them. And these are probably only two that I use to create better artworks and to stay in the game, right? So thanks for watching. That was my top three and catch you on the next one.